A very powerful AutoLisp functionality that's often overlooked is the ability to actually manipulate registry values that have to do with AutoCAD's operation, which we normally think of as being part of the operating profile for AutoCAD. Here's an example of some Lisp syntax that allows us to either inquire or get variables out of the registry or to set them. So get environment or set environment. And what we have to do is figure out where these registry keys are. Now, normally, in order to do something like setting our plotting folders, default plotting net plotter name, where our PMP file or plot styles reside, we would normally think of coming into the options command, looking here at our printer configuration parameters and saving these, which would then become part of our profile. This would mean in order to have different printer locations, we'd have to actually have different profiles. The way that you can illustrate this is to actually go to your profiles tab and export your current profile settings out to a file. I've taken the liberty of doing this already, and we can look at what that looks like. So if you've ever really messed around in the Windows registry, you'll see that this looks very familiar because these are just the registry keys that pertain to AutoCAD for proper operation. What I've done is scroll down and found the section where the plotter configuration stuff is. And what we'll see here are the registry keys like printer config directory, printer style sheet directory for our plot styles. And you can see that these keys correspond precisely to the code that I've placed in this file. So by executing these lines of AutoLisp code, I am able to actually reset these pathing variables on the fly without having to change the profile for the user. If you use the ACAD.LSP file, as I've done here, and load this from a central network repository, which I've done from the X drive, you can actually see now that you would be able to reset everyone's printer configuration directory, their PMP file directory, where their plot styles reside, as they load into AutoCAD that would reset them globally. It would not matter what their profile was, and it wouldn't matter if they'd even attempted to reset those variables before. These Lisp statements would then override the values that live inside of the profile, and AutoCAD would be uniformly configured no matter what. With no requirements for profiles, the only thing you're doing is just introducing two new functions in your AutoLisp vocabulary. Get environment, set environment, and these access the registry keys. How do you know which registry keys? You go through the profile, export it, and you start taking a look at the resulting file. You then just make sure to put everything in your AutoLisp syntax and exactly as you find it here. In fact, it would be worthwhile to grab it here, copy it, and then paste that exactly into your Lisp file over here. As long as you do that, Make sure you have valid path statements. Please notice two backslashes for path delineators. That's it. That's all there is to it. You'll never have to mess with multiple profiles again. Good luck.